Even though tomorrow is Halloween, local leaders are hoping people will take precautions to stop the spread of the coronavirus. But businesses in downtown Orlando, they're expecting to see some pretty big crowds. As News Six's Amanda Castro reports, they're getting some extra supplies to prepare for this busy weekend. No tricks, only treats inside these bags. As downtown ambassadors with the city of Orlando walk the streets before Halloween, going business to business, handing out free masks and personal protective equipment to pass out to people coming downtown for the holiday. Are you expecting it to still be pretty busy with the pandemic? Absolutely so. People are going to come out and play regardless, and we're all going to mask up and take precautions and use our brains and be safe. Halloween is typically one of the busiest nights of the year for John San Filippo. He co-owns the Beecham and several other downtown venues. We stopped by the Beecham last month when the state lifted restrictions, allowing bars to reopen. He says business is slowly growing, but he's not banking on Halloween weekend. Instead, hoping it's not too busy. Obviously, we have to, you know, uh, prepare ourselves for, you know, the most amount of people and hope for the least amount of people. He says they're downplaying Halloween this year. No costume contests or giveaways, no additional advertising and minimal decorations, saying he has to balance business and public safety. We need to be safe right now. We need to dial it back and do our best that we can. And then once we get through this, we can go ahead and move forward. He says the perimeter the city is setting up will give people more space to spread out, adding it's up to everyone to do their part. If you are going to come out, make sure you have your mask. Make, make sure you're, you're being respectful to other people. And most of all, if you don't feel good, if you know somebody who doesn't feel good, if you got a cough, the sniffles, whatever it is, please stay home. I mean, you know, don't be the one that causes the problem for the rest of us in, in downtown Orlando. In Orlando, Amanda Castro, getting results, News 6.